also on social media that she was pregnant for the Prime Minister and had an abortion that had started when she was having... Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's a girl and Isabel Rose. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20k, help me to get there, my people. So my people may have an audio phone and listen to my people and in this one is a big interview with Rhoda Moy Crawford who is the MP of Manchester and my people she even broke down crying. She came on the ear to dispel what she deemed as rumours of an affair between her and Prime Minister Andrew Owens. And my people we know where this news had it started out from. And the same people them allegedly from her camp started out this news. But we even seen her throwing um, blame at the People's National Party member for saying that she was even pregnant at one, at one point. And some people more want to know if listen to it and then on a drop on the two cents in the comment section. We are hearing from the Member of Parliament for Central Manchester, the JLP's Rhoda Moy Crawford. And she's been venting, bearing her soul about the attacks on her perpetrated in social media by some. She has been very frank. She has spoken about the rumors about her having a an intimate relationship with the Prime Minister. Yes, she has categorically denied that this rumor that was also on social media, that she was pregnant for the Prime Minister and had an abortion that had started when she was having a female problem, well-known fibroids, and was carrying a bump and a member of parliament from the other side, she says, questioned or remarked to her. Rhoda Moy Crawford, let me ask you, I've been listening. You notice I've been listening to you. Yes? I want to ask you some questions now. Yeah? Yes. Have you ever felt like packing it in and walking away from this? I have, I have, and as a matter of fact, you know, I don't even know if I should say this, but, you know, my mother, even before she passed, because you know she died suddenly, she, yes. she, she wasn't ill, and at one point she looked at me with tears in her eyes, and she says, my daughter, I am reading and seeing these comments, I'm not going to pretend that I'm not seeing them. What I want for you to do, or I would, but it ultimately it's your decision. I would want for you to finish your term, finish your term well, and get away from this nasty politics. That's what my mother told me. So I've been battling, you know, under my mother's dying wish, or, you know, fighting, because Cliff, maybe you should ask me a different way. What has caused me to not step away? Yeah. Well, well, there are so many opportunities. I have opportunities and offers left, right, and center. What has kept me, Cliff? What has caused me to not step away? Cliff, I lived in Manchester Central for 30 odd years, all my life, except from when I came out to, to, to enter into college and when I was working at Hart and had to be at the head office and living in Kingston. Mm -hmm. Right? And I see the ills in the constituents. And when I look right across Jamaica, Cliff, a lot of the issues are, are not resolved, not because they couldn't have been, but we, because we have not always had political representatives at the very... Let me also ask you, Ms. Crawford. Let me Wait, also ask could you. Could I finish first? Sure. Who, who is committed to Jamaica? And I feel if I give up, I am sending a message to other young people, other young women especially, other people who have a passion for leadership and a passion for service 
and who want to serve their country well. I think we're going to give in and allow persons who don't mean Jamaica well to step forward. And I see a lot of them trying to step forward now that I hope that to God that the people do not give that opportunity because by their utterances and their actions, they don't mean Jamaica well. So, so, so I have suffered the hit and, and I feel as if I must continue because the, the politics, if we're really going to transform Jamaica, it needs people like me who are committed to service and, and just want to see Jamaica, Jamaica in a better place. I don't want Jamaica to become Haiti. Let me ask you, Miss Crawford, these rumors and nasty comments and insinuations, how have they affected your relationship with your prime minister and party leader, Andrew Holness? Well, well, what I what I do notice because the prime minister he supports all of all of all of his um, it's not just members of parliament and ministers, but all of the standard bearers. And I mean, the prime minister continues to extend himself and to give all of us support. So I wouldn't say I, I still would say I still maintain a good relationship with our prime minister and party leader. But what I do notice at times, Cliff, and I don't, it doesn't matter to me if I'm going to be getting some, some beating for this when, when I hang up the phone. But I do realize that sometimes some of my own parliamentary colleagues, they, they treat me differently. They, they are some things that I feel I am denied of because of, of this rumor, or I think because this issue, it doesn't just affect me or the prime minister. The, the wife of the prime minister sits in the parliament. She, she sits in the, the, the speaker's chair. And Cliff, I'm not afraid to tell you that there are some times that people who have very good relationship with me, they talk to me on the phone, they hang out with me. Sometimes you can see it appears that they are torn, like they don't want to engage me because they don't know if the rumors are true. Themselves probably don't know, are not sure, but they, they, don't, they don't want to be offensive. So I think some of them are caught in a, in, in a little limbo trying to... to, to be careful how they engage me when, when Mrs. Holness is there or so because I don't know. But mm -hmm. I, I sense that and I feel that at times. Well, let me ask you, have you ever been involved in an intimate moment or relationship affair with the Prime Minister? No, Cliffus. Categorically, no. I have never. These rumors started from the time that I was in G2K when I just came fresh from the scene and wanted to to, to, to enter and to expand, and then it, it, some of them started to emerge around the, the time of the leadership challenge, and then and then they died down, and then you know it started to take a different spin. At, at every level, when they put out something and it doesn't work, they add a new dimension to it, and and and, and keep adding to it when they realize it's not sticking. Mm. And the matter of your aborted pregnancy, you said you did have an operation, but it had to do with No, I didn't no, I didn't have any operation at all. What I what I what I said is that I have been, been struggling with, with fibroids. Yes. Yes. And and so at that point I had a little bulge. Yes. Right, because I was in the gym and the gym instructor realized that the bulge was still there and he told me to check for, to check to see if it's fibers because sometimes when you have that lower bulge, it's it, it's fibers. Yes. You know, so I've been doing my my treatments for it. So that mm -hmm. is when I, I guess that is when one one member of the opposition ran the joke. I don't know if it's a joke or deliberate mm -hmm. to say, "Boy, it looks like Rhoda pregnant," and then it got out there to bloggers that I was pregnant. Yes. And and then when 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 I you know share the concern to some of my colleagues on both sides, they say, "Rhoda, leave it alone. That's stupidness." Mm -hmm. And I said to them, no, it's not stupidness. They're saying, um, if you're pregnant, a baby will emerge in nine months. And I said to them, but, but if a baby doesn't emerge, they're going to come up with something else. They're going to say, oh, she must have aborted the child. And, and here we are today. Yeah. And my people, I really want to ask, what more distraction will come up? You understand? From the whole dual citizenship with Mark Golden, come right back down to this so-called 
fake arson attack on the garden house. You know, coming back down now to Chris Tufton ending up in a bicycle vehicle accident. And now we're seeing she coming out after all this time saying that she's dispelling rumors of her ever being involved in, with Prime Minister Andrew Olness and ever being pregnant for him at that. And some people more have fear from Uno, Uno dropping the two cents in the comment section and tell me what think. Because when we, we see where nationwide really up to and we see where nationwide I do. You understand my people? But me just highlight this phone to get an understanding of your fair plight at the same time. So Uno, make me know my people if you buy this or if you don't buy it. Drop that in the comment section, yes or no. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anisabel Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. Only a small fee per month to be a member of the Anisabel Rose movement. New viewers, come on board. Join with me, join the family. Subscribe to the channel. Like up the videos. Share out the videos. Support the ABR movement by playing your part. On the road to 20K, as on a company videos, them are people to like and share them out so other persons can see them. It's free to like up the videos. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more updates. Big up on yourself.